right, hello to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It is time to track the tropics. Here is the good news. We've made it to the middle of June, two weeks into the Atlantic Basin hurricane season and not a zilch, nothing for the Gulf, for the Caribbean, for the Atlantic. So that is good news. We don't want any action. I wish it would stay quiet all season long, but we know there's a high chance that's not going to happen. So let's just enjoy the quiet time while we can, but use this time to prepare for what could be coming for the remainder of the 2025 Atlantic Basin hurricane season. But for now, we can celebrate that it is off to a quiet start. However, it's been nothing but quiet across the Eastern Pacific. Already four named systems in the Eastern Pacific. We've already had Alvin, Barbara, Cosme, and Delilah. Could we have Eric in the next day or two? Well, there's a 90% chance that we will have yet another tropical system blowing up in the Eastern Pacific. Likely Tropical Storm Eric that will likely soon form near that west coast of Central America. So you can see a lot of swirls, a lot of action around Central America on our tropical satellite. This is the area that we're monitoring off to the west. So Guatemala City, south and east of so Acapulco, that is where we have a broad area of low pressure forming. That's also where we have a 90% shot that the area of low pressure will get more organized and form into a tropical depression or tropical storm Eric over the next couple of days. So it's already been called Invest 94E. What is an invest? Well, it's basically an area of concern that is being investigated to see if it's strengthening into a tropical system. So right now, clusters of showers and storms west of Guatemala City, we are seeing a broad area of low pressure forming and it looks like it is going to get a little more organized. You can see that counterclockwise swirl over the next couple of days. So this is Wednesday morning and we could have a tropical storm, tropical storm Eric by then very close to Acapulco, Guatemala City. So even if this doesn't develop, likely a lot of heavy rain going to fall for parts of Central America and Southern Mexico over the next two to four days. So certainly if you're heading in that direction, if you have friends, family in that direction, make sure to check on them, make sure they're okay, and keep in mind that the flood risk will be a little higher there with that potential system brewing. But as we jump over to the Atlantic Basin, like I was telling you, things are quiet. No tropical activity expected for the next seven days. So that's great news if you are about to maybe embark on a wonderful, exciting cruise in the Gulf over towards maybe the Bahamas, over towards the Jamaica area, maybe Puerto Rico, Cancun, Cozumel. Water temps are mainly in the low to middle 80s. So we've got water warm enough to support tropical systems, but just all of the ingredients not really coming into place at this point. We really have kind of hostile, unfavorable winds out there, stronger winds that would limit tropical activity. Even though the water is warm, we've still got a lot of Saharan dust as well. So really, ever since the Atlantic hurricane season started, we've had quite a bit of Saharan dust rolling off of that west coast of Africa, pushing across the Atlantic and even into parts of the Caribbean and the Gulf. So until we can get rid of a lot of that dust, I don't think we're gonna have a ton of tropical activity, but you know what, I'm okay with that. Like I said, this could continue for the rest of the season. However, most of the models and predictions and projections are showing that this is not going to last. Still NOAA calling for a 60% shot for an above normal hurricane season and only a 10% chance for a below normal season. So that means things are going to get cooking out there sooner or later. Maybe a little later, but it's going to happen. Likely 13 to 19 named storms, 6 to 10 of those likely becoming hurricanes this season and about 3 to 5 of those becoming major hurricanes. Hurricanes. So, like I said, it's quiet now, but you still need to keep checking back with us daily because you know things can get going out there in a hurry. But while the weather is nice, hey, why not go on a cruise? Maybe you've been looking forward to this all year long, and this weekend is your weekend. So, let's check out Cancun, a great place to visit looks so nice, especially when the weather is nice. And I think for the most part, if you are cruising there this weekend, 
you're not going to have too many issues. Friday and Saturday should be mainly dry. It's going to be hot and steamy. Temps near 90. Now, if you are cruising there, making a stop right around Sunday, there will be the potential for some scattered showers and storms. That storm chance will go up to about 40%, but the temperatures aren't going anywhere. They're still going to be hot, even with the rain and storms around. All right, let's check out Nassau, Bahamas, another great place to visit. Maybe you've got a cruise stop here. Maybe you're hopping on a plane and flying there. Regardless of how you get there, it looks like the weather this weekend looks fantastic. We've got temperatures hot, but nothing super extreme, I guess. We got temps in the upper 80s expected. Wind out of the east southeast around 10 to 20 miles per hour. So a nice little breeze there and only isolated rain expected for the Bahamas for this weekend. That would put the chance at around 10 to 20%, mainly from about 2 p.m. until sunset. Maybe a brief shower that you'll have to worry about, but that is going to be about it. Another gorgeous stop if you are on a cruise. San Juan, Puerto Rico, a 20 to 30% chance for rain. Another breezy stop, wind out of the east to east, northeast around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures, not that bad. How about middle 80s? That's pretty good for this time of the year. It's warm, but of course, at least it's not 90s or triple digits. So Puerto Rico weather looking pretty nice as well. All right, another great fun place to go that is Cabo. It will be nice to be there right now. And it looks like the weather is going to be close to perfection. Sunny skies expected Wednesday and Thursday. Cruise weather, beach weather for the weekend, whatever you're going to be doing. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday there, it should be close to perfect. It will get a little bit cooler. How about middle 70s for Friday and Saturday? But no rain is expected for you in Cabo. If that is your stop for later this week or this weekend, it will be breezy, but enjoy the 70s. You don't get that that often this time of the year. So it is looking nice for cruise weather. It's looking nice across the Atlantic Basin because it's so quiet. But like I've been saying, I want you to keep in mind that this is just still the beginning beginning of our hurricane season. We have to get through months of hurricane season before we can say goodbye. So we are still in June. This is just month one. June, typically not a ton of action. July, we get a little bit more tropical activity usually, but it really doesn't start to get going until August and especially September. October, even the first couple of weeks there, it is still fairly busy. And then we kind of start winding things down as we go through November. So don't let your guard down, even though it is quiet right now, of course, we will eventually start to get some action going in parts of the Atlantic in the Gulf, in the Caribbean, in the Atlantic Ocean. So make sure that you are taking this time to maybe review your flood insurance, other insurance papers, make sure you're covered, you're ready to go. Make sure you have those papers protected in case your house gets flooded. And also make sure you've got the rest of whatever you need in your hurricane emergency supply kit. At least it's quiet though for now. We can enjoy that. We'll be right back with more Texas live and local after the break. 